What is going on guys? It is your boy Jay Hankinson Music here and today in this video we are going to be doing an unboxing of a pair of Sony WH-1000XM4s that I got on Amazon for about 190-ish bucks. So um, yeah, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so here's the box. You know, it's a pretty decent size. Just gonna, you know, just pull a that didn't work there we go jeez okay so it's in a like a just a wrapping so it didn't come in the original box is what it seems like so it just came in this which is i mean it's not that bad i mean it's not like i would be end up using the box but um there we go there's the case it's got like a little pocket where you can you know i don't know stick a did you get in there you know stick a sharpie in it no nothing cool and it's got a like a golden like a bronze plated zipper it says sony that's pretty cool so let's uh give it the little the good old unzip and bop okay so let's see what does it come with it comes with an airplane adapter, so when you're in an airplane, you can plug this into something. You can plug it in there, then you plug it into the airplane. That's actually pretty cool, because I guess it's like dual stereo audio or whatever. We have one of Sony's very, very sad excuses for a USB-C charging cable. This is, like, stupid. We have... Um... This doesn't feel like it's a braided cable, but it's definitely a good quality one. Yeah, this is definitely a good quality um, aux cable, which is, you know, cool. Is it an actual Sony? Um, not sure. Oh, yeah, there it is. Sony. Hey, what else? Here's the thing with all the, like all the little controls and all that. And I mean, this is a pretty decently built case. Like it's actually built really well. But the last thing I'm here, I care about. Okay, so here's the head pahones themselves. And damn, they're definitely, uh, Okay, so, definitely got comfortable, soft ear cushions, and, I mean, it seems to be in very good condition. The sensor is a little dirty, as you can see, but, let's give them a wear test. Okay, so, also, I forgot to um, basically tell you, like, all the little things that are on them. So, if you look on this ear cup, focuses, this is where you um, charge it, and it also has the power indicator. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's the charging indicator, okay. You just... Alright, so yeah, that's like the charging indicator, so if I... I don't have a charger nearby. But, if you go over to this side, there is a... Um, custom mappable button right there that says custom so you tap it so currently i think i'm going to set it to um basically like tap it once to no noise cancellation on and off and then there's like a where you can press and hold it with the app and um the power button and as you can see there's like the little light right there so that turns it on just turn this back off and also, I'm sure you guys can hear it, but if I turn it on, so, you know, those are the sounds it does when you turn it on and off. And, um, I mean, yeah, it's got really, like, really squishy ear cups, because I'll take these out. These are my old headphones, but as you can see, it's like, it's not as plush. 
like you could definitely tell the difference like between the materials this is like so much more like thinner so much more breathable but this is just like too like thick but um yes yeah, so when you put it in the case wherever I put it so I mean yeah when you fold it you can put it in the case you know you fold them up <coughs> yes I know it's supposed to go the other way it's supposed to go like uh that Wait, what? Oh, so this is, so I did have it the right way. So, I mean, yeah, you stick it in the case. Yep. Well, if it closes, you zip it in, and boom, you're ready to take it wherever you go. But, um, also, as I showed you, it has the extra cables. So, you know, the, the pathetic... Sony, is it Sony branded? Uh, yep. The pathetically Sony branded charger. Come on, come into focus. Eh. As you can see, if I turn it around, Sony. Does it, that just like China? But also has a it doesn't look like it's a braided or it feels braided but it's not <coughs> yeah you could definitely kind of can see the texture of it yes I have ignore that but you know in order to use it like wired you uh plug um you know, this end to, into it, and then you whip out your chunky thing. As you can see, if I move this over, you can just, you know, plug it into whatever. And then it's in, you know, auxiliary mode. But, that is that. So let's go outside and let's test the noise cancellation because that's something I really want to do with it. Okay, so just got done with the unboxing and here's um, the headphones. Okay, so let's put them on and see how they fit. Okay, wow. These are very light. Um, they stay on my head pretty good. They definitely fit my head. Wow, these are like really like comfortable. And these currently aren't on, so let me turn them on. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Ow. There's definitely... All right. So this is the side where you do like the... Where you do tap controls, you go up, go down, do all that. Then on this side, So, I don't think it's that peak noise cancellation right now. By the way, okay, is there a... Okay, so there isn't a legitimate noise cancellation button, but um, I'm going to connect the headphones now, and I'll let you know how they sound. Okay, so I have them on right now, and if I go like this, I double tap. Okay, so noise cancellation is on full black. Well, hmm. I gotta say, it does sound pretty good. Yeah, I have the speak to chat enabled, so that's why it just keeps going on and off. But they, um, the noise cancellation's good. I mean, I can still kind of hear my air conditioner going in the background because I'm sure you guys can hear it in the video. You guys, well, you guys can definitely hear it in the video, but, you know, 
That's something we gotta deal with, but double tap. Like it's nothing but a, like a faint when I have it on. Turn it on. No, on. Okay. Okay, so it seems like everything works and I can also set up a, like a custom button wherever the buttons are. Yeah, so I mean, it's got, like it's got weird dingus touch, touch controls, but you know, they work. I'm gonna go give them a listen and I'll let you guys know how they sound. Okay, so now I am outside and I'm gonna be testing the noise cancellation on these. You know, out in the world, you know, you got birds chirping, you got, um, <clears throat> you got cars going by, the sound of my feet walking. I mean, I don't live on a bit, like a main road. So, I mean, like, I could walk up to the main highway, but I think I will save that for a later date. And I'll just let you guys know, like, what, it, how that would sound, because I'm not really wanting to walk all the way over there right now. But at some point this week, I'm probably going to be going over to one of my friend's houses across the highway. Well, it's not really a highway. It's just like a main, like a busy, like a busy, like two lane highway going both sides. So, um, yeah. So let's put these on and get, okay, we got a car coming. So let me close these up. Okay. So. Noise cancellation on. Okay, so I could definitely hear the car coming, but if I um, play music, let me. All right, so okay. Um. Okay, so, car just went by. I really, I didn't really hear it that, I really barely even heard it. So, that is a good sign. So, um, yeah, I mean, in my opinion, I expected it to be a lot better from what I've seen in, like, commercials and, like, on YouTube videos and stuff. But, I mean, there's not really else you can, like, do with it, which is kind of a bummer. So, because, like, I have it cranked all the way up to the max noise cancellation level. So, um, yeah. So, that's basically that. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go um, just go for a walk, listen to music, and I'll check back with you guys when I am done. Okay, so I just got done listening to him. So, a few complaints. As you can notice, a ton of sweat builds up on these, like a ton Mainly because, you know, it is like, I don't know, 80 degrees out right now. But um, other than that, I really don't have any other complaints. Like, the noise cancellation is, like, really good. But part of me expected it to be, like, just a teeny bit better. But, I mean, shit, it's the best. It's, like, it's definitely the industry standard. Well, I mean, I think the, the AirPods Max and the XM5s, I think, are the, the reigning champions right now. So save up money and I'll probably cop a pair of AirPods Max. That's what I originally wanted to get, but I didn't have enough. So, you know, ended up going with the second best for the better price alternative. So anyway, let's get back to my room, shall we? Okay, so I just got done listening to them. They sound great. And um, they, like, the, the sound is very well balanced. It's got really good bass, really good treble. And all around a very good pair of headphones. But just as just a little thing, I'm gonna do a um, comparison at some point in the future of my 60-ish dollar sound cores, my uh, Soundcore Q20s and the Sony WH-1000XM4s. So expect a comparison to these two headphones coming up in the future within, I don't know, at some point soon, I don't know, but, um, yeah, 
uh, that'll be it for this video, guys. If you guys like this unboxing video, and if you guys like the new format of me having my camera facing down on my desk, um, just let me know down in the comment section below and let me know you, what you guys want to see me um, do the next time. Anyway, I shall see you guys in the next video. All right? Peace.